Hello friends, this is um, a test between the BMPCC 4K and uh, the uh, GFX 100 from Fujifilm. Um, my husband got the GFX 100 for his uh, photography um, hobby or prosumer hobby. <laughs> so today I got to test it a bit on a very contrasty scene as you can see here. Um, I exposed for the highlights on purpose because as a filmmaker I mostly care about the highlights. I don't really care about shadows almost at all, even if there is noise there. I mean, to me, noise, if you know how to process it, it's it's film grain, essentially. I endorse it. But highlights, highlights I care. <laughs> so um, uh, so I used the Panasonic F1.7 25mm for the BMPCC uh, 4K, and uh, when it comes to the GFX 100, I used uh, the uh, kit lens, let's say, the 32 to 64, I believe it is, um, uh, zoom uh, at f8. Uh, it's f4, but I use it at f8 uh, aperture. And for the Panasonic, I used it at f3.2, so this way, pretty much, they have the same aperture. I tried to match as close as possible um, the, the exposure uh, and um, the framing. So here you can see, uh, uh, by the way, you can download DPX files from both of those uh, shoots. Um, so you can actually check, load them either on Photoshop or on uh, DaVinci Resolve. And this way you'll be able to, um, uh, to judge for yourselves which one of the two you like. So I'm going to start playing a little bit here. This is the BMPCC 4K. Um, as you can see, there is a... Uh, it, there's quite some underexposed here because, as I said, I exposed for the highlights. Uh, and soon I'm going to be moving to the uh, GFX 100. For the GFX 100, I used um, uh, 400 OLI, 400 Mbps OLI S65, uh, F log, of course. And uh, for the BMPCC 4K, I'm going to go back to the BMPCC 4K right here. And for that, I used uh, uh, three to one uh, uh, ratio, ratio uh, bureau, the, the best quality I could get um, at um, 24 FPS. Uh, so I'm going to uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see the differences very, very close up. So let's start with the BMPCC 4K. As you can see, the, it's a little bit soft. I actually manually focused uh, the Panasonic here because the uh, BMPCC 4K would uh, would not properly focus with a one with a single lot of focus uh, feature that it has. This thing doesn't work. <laughs> so anyway, it's uh, as as best focused as, as I could get it. That's how uh, uh, sharp let's say it is. And here is the uh, Fuji. As you can see, it's got a lot more uh, noise on it, but it is sharper. So it's actually considerably sharper. I would say that in terms of sharpness, because it comes from a 100 megapixel uh, image down to a 4K 8, 8 uh, megapixel image, it, it does have more um, more detail. It's, uh, I guess, closest to the 6K, BMPC 6K. So in terms of, uh, um, you might get a little bit uh, less noise, but it's it's uglier noise, I would say, on the BMPC 4K. It sure it has a ple more pleasant image at the first uh, uh, at first uh, glance, but then you can see that it's got that digital noise color, uh, which is kind of like this RGB color. While the the Fuji it, ca it has this grain kind of uh, noise, which in my in my view at, le at least is uh, nicer. So the other thing I like to see is uh, the colors. So I'm going to go here at 100%. Uh, so he, look at this uh, car over here and those window uh, blinds of whatever they are here, right here. And then look at them at the BBCC 4K. The more accurate is between the two. <laughs> So neither the Fuji nor the BMPCC were accurate, but probably I would say that the BMPCC was a little bit more accurate. Um, however, the, the, the reality is though, do you want accuracy? If you were trying to do a documentary, uh, you do want accuracy. But if you don't, if you're trying to do film, you don't necessarily you want, you want accuracy. What you want is um, uh, colors that actually fit together very well. So. 
And the other problem here, you can see here how green, the, the grass is green. Well, on the BMCC 4K is yellow. And they have this problem with all the footage with the BMCC 4K, all the trees, all the grasses, you go to the park and everything just comes out yellow. And not only that, but even skin tones come too yellow, but not in the Alexa type of, or, or a film type of yellowness, which is beautiful. It's, li it's a different kind of uh, yellow. You can see here on the palm tree, well, look at the, uh, at the, um, at the uh, Fuji, it comes true uh, green, as it's supposed to be. In my opinion, uh, the Fuji colors are better. But if you want, if you, but the skin tones are not great. The skin tones are magenta, and you don't want magenta skin tones. Everything, all the other colors are perfect, but skin tones are not. While on the BMPCC 4K, all the colors are, they have this yellow cast, which I hate, but the skin tones are a little bit better. So, you know, it's a little bit of give and take, I guess. <laughs> um, the other thing we need to, to mention here is that film uh, has, does not, pick up a certain uh, bands of yellow. So if you want to to, um, to compare any of those two cameras to traditional film, then Fuji is closer, without a doubt, because it, can't, it cuts down the yellow bands. And that's what you want for uh, film emulation. While, uh, you know, the Sony sensors here, because the BMPC is using a Sony sensor, but so, so is the Fuji, of course. Uh, but the, they don't cut the yellowness out, which is one of the big problems I have with the BMPCC 4K. So here I, I added uh, some LUT, so if you would like to see the, that uh, with the LUT. Um, so this is with uh, the Ma uh, Mario Bertoli um, LUT for the Blackmagic 4K and 6K, which is much nicer than Blackmagic's uh, LUT. And this is the, and this is the white uh, gamut um, uh, F-Log to Eterna. So you can see the difference, the APCC and, uh, and Fuji. So which one would you get? Well, it depends what you're doing. I mean, obviously the <laughs> BMPCC 4K is almost 10 times, uh, you know, uh, cheaper than, <laughs> than the Fuji. And obviously the Fuji is not 10 times better than the BMPCC. So obviously BMPCC is a better value. But if you only care about like, um, really from uh, let's say from an acad academic point of view if you're trying to do uh, something as closest to film as possible i would say that you'll have easier time color grading fuji fuji uh, than you would have um BMPC, the bmpcc in terms of sharpness the the here the fuji is is actually sharper than the bmpcc 4k at least i don't know about the 6k probably closer to 6k uh, sharpness uh, however, um, I find myself when I do film emulation that I have to uh, soften uh, the image a lot, uh, no matter what camera I'm using. So to me, sharpness or noise don't matter at all. What I care is about color addition and texture, uh, structure and texture. Uh, stru uh, um, that usually most cameras don't have on digital, but I guess uh, Fuji has more of that than the BMPCC that it has. So what I would suggest if somebody wants to, you know, go for cheap to create, a, let's say, a film uh, for cheap, I would say buy a cheap uh, Fuji. Let's say the XA7 that came out very recently from Fuji for $700. Um, it's great because it surely doesn't have F-Log, but it has the pro negative standard that if you change two or three of the parameters there, you can have a pretty... Uh, pretty flat image that you can get a lot of dynamic range out of it and it's ch even cheaper than the um, uh, that may be in PCC uh, and you get the autofocus out, uh, you know, out of that and a, a good nice good screen and easy to use and whatever but on the other hand if you want a more cinema like uh, camera of course the BMPCC at that price you cannot beat it so that's all I have for today let me know in the comments if you have any questions all right, until the next time, bye-bye.